Okay, let's check it out, man. Let's see it. It only took a year to make. Well, I don't know. We we had it in. Um, I guess we paid for it in April, right? Yeah. So the kicks we we paid in April, and I think. Well, actually, we probably did it sooner. I think April was the first ship date or something. So it looks like the packs are pretty good. And this bubble wrap all the way from, it actually has a California label on it. So I think they relabeled it. Underneath it's probably Taiwan, or I mean, uh, Hong Kong. Oh, shit. It's a big box. It's actually, it's actually got some weight. I was surprised when I got out of the mailbox. I was like, this thing's pretty hefty. Who, de who delivered it? Was it UPS? USPS, so it was handed over to them. Oh, wow. Yep. So let's cut it open here. I mean, everything on this says uh, made in China. It's weird. I mean, does stuff in Hong Kong get I mean, the made in China thing? I thought it was Hong Kong. Anyway. I mean, we paid in Hong Kong money. Yeah. Maybe they had a supplier in China then. I don't know. Ugh, try to get this open. Oh wow! Comes with a uh, user. Okay, it says user manual on it, but and has all these screens on it. And I couldn't remember. I got like those extras. I like paid for an extra, and then they like gave us an extra as a gift or something, right? Because they were apologizing for their yeah. late production. So I got like extra. Well, maybe, I don't know if it was extra. I did ask for something. I can't remember now. It's been so long ago. But these are like the DC jacks. Okay. Two, and then one USB-C. USB I mean, both are USB-Cs on both ends. Here we got like banana clips to DC connection. I, I don't have a use for that. Maybe, I, maybe other people do. I don't know why that's kind of like people ask for that or what. Fancy... Bag. There you go, travel bag. All right, now the main thing. It's a lot bigger there than I thought go. it was going to be, actually. Holy shit. Do you have the Jackery one? No, I have one that's... The, where's the one that... Yeah, there you go. This is a different one. It's not as big as your Jackery yeah. one, so your Jackery one would be longer, I guess, than this one. And <laughs> But I don't know. I mean, me, me, I mean, it's like... It's long, but it's also like kind of compact because it's not like flat and whatever. Yeah. See, this thing does have a uh, centimeter ruler on it. It says it's like 15 inches, so, I mean, centimeters, sorry. Okay, let's open this. It's shrink wrapped, I guess. Nice shiny glass case with, I guess, eight of those lithium ion batteries. It's kind of like a smoked color. Yeah, I see this. The outer side is like clear, and then on the inside is like a smoked uh, box or plastic inside of it. You gotta give me. You gotta give me the first review we can travel. See if they like. Yeah, this is just the initial look right now. I'll use it for a week, and then, I mean, I'll just like only charge my phone with it for a week or something, and charge some other devices like my um, GPS unit that I have for flying. Yeah. Test my iPad, iPod, or iPhone, maybe a few devices at once. See what happens. Well, tell me how. Tell me how much battery life it drains once you charge it. Because like my Jackery, I think it takes like six percent of the battery to charge it fully. Like if you don't f with it and you just let it charge, it takes six percent. Okay, so you charge your own personal. So when you charge your phone with your your own uh, power bank, it only uses six percent to go to one hundred percent on your phone. Yep. From zero yep. or what? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. No, but you can't. But you. But you can't with it. Yeah, you just like have to leave. Like put it in airplane mode or something, or just leave it alone without yeah. surfing. But I mean, how do you turn it on? Do you push this button and okay, you hold it down. It says energy. Oh, the screen is nice. It's like a nice LED screen. I don't know if you can see it. Hell yeah. I must have cut myself with the knife. I don't know how. <laughs> Got too excited. Okay. So anyway. I'd say it's like about five pounds or something. It's definitely heavier than, than this one. Right now it says 14.98 volts so and 0 0.08 amps. Maybe if I try to charge my uh, iPhone 7, see if what changes on the screen. Dang, stop bleeding. I should be... Okay. 
Oh, immediately it starts charging and it's pulling and it'll tell you the, can you see it pretty good? I can see the numbers, but it's not, I can't, I can't read the numbers. It's kind of blurry. It's too far away to, yeah, there, there's too little. But it's, yeah, it is a, um, I'd say it's like a one inch screen. But it's saying it's pulling 0.42 amps, which I guess makes sense. Usually, I mean, this phone is so old, I think they only pull a point, like a half an amp anyway, 500 milliamps. That's what these, that's what those like iPhone blocks say. Yeah, the old ones. Yeah, it's like point, I don't know, can't read it. Yeah, they're about, it's like, so it's doing what it's supposed to, I'd say. It's within normal specs. Got your temperature reading, 23 Celsius. Uh, on the battery and temperature of the uh, looks like the IC, the main chip there, 25 Celsius. Input, there's nothing. There's an input and output wattage on here. The output says 4.15 watts and point and 5.0 volts and 0.83 amp. So it's pretty neat. Oh, and it has a clock at the bottom. I think you can set the timer, like a set a timer on it as well, so that it goes off when you want it to. That's badass because I can see the numbers. Yeah, I mean, you can see it better on here, maybe even. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, right now I like it. I mean, what do we pay? 100 bucks for this? Yep. I'd say you probably got your money's worth just initially looking at it. And I'd say, like, if the batteries went bad, you could take it apart and we'll replace, replace them. them. Right? Yeah, looks like they're kind of shrink wrapped in there as well. Okay, so on the side here. It gives you information on the batteries. Uh, 93 point, oh, so you, yeah, 93.5 watt later? hours. So convert that to milliamp hours. Have to do some math later on that. Airline safe. That used to not be on there. They decided to put it on there because I think so many customers were like worried that it's going to be banned or not allowed on airplanes or something because it looked like a bomb mm -hmm. maybe. I mean, look at it. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a bomb. That's why I said I can't wait for you to fly and then be like, uh, what the is that? Yeah, I think this was at 67 first, I can't remember now, but it, now it's at 69. <laughs> so that little bit of time uh, got it to 2% more, I guess. It's nice, man. Stop carrying this one and carry this around all the time then. That thing is a tank. Got a trip to the uh, Smoky Mountains, so take this on the travel trip on the on the trip as well and see how it how it works so i guess push if you hold down this button while it's on you'll access some settings dc settings temperature battery info it's pretty cool i mean no one's thought of this before with all this fancy uh, settings and stuff that you could do with this yeah yeah i like I it i wonder how long it takes to how, how much uh, percentage do you have battery wise um, you know, that's a good question because all it is at the top right is a battery icon. And uh, what does the thing say here? It says if it's, I mean, it says seven on it. Does that mean I'm at 7%? Probably. Maybe they obviously don't ship it to you fully charged because it could be a problem in the mail, you know? Yeah. If it was fully charged and something went wrong, it could probably cause a fire. But uh, let's see, maybe one of these are is the charging cables then, right? It's gotta be the USB-C. Oh yeah, USB-C in and out. So you have two outputs, but one of those USBs are uh, inputs. So let's, I wonder if I could charge it from this. <laughs> Use a power bank to charge another power bank. Yeah, or maybe it goes the opposite way. Yeah, you're gonna drain it. Um, yeah, this Storm 2 is powering this one because I can see on here it says output and the input there's nothing. So, see, I, I like having a screen so you know exactly the status and what's going on. So let me use another one. I'll use my uh, Google Pixel charging block that has USB-C and I'll plug it in real quick. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you can see, I don't even know how focused it is, but See an input at the bottom left? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the blue says in, the yellow says out. So input means that I've got 15 watts going into this, 15.6 watts, watts at 8.78 volts and 1.78 amps charging. So 
It's about two amps charging it. I think that's pretty fast anyway, because my Pixel charges at that um, as well. And uh, yeah, the top, the top right was the battery indicator. It's blinking seven, so I assume that's uh, that it's seven charging. is the seven percent. And yeah, it's charging. So I guess I'll just leave it sit like this overnight. What time is it? It's uh, seven twenty p.m. right now. And I guess at seven percent, if that number goes up, then I'll, I guess I'll confirm that that's the percentage. So we'll see how long it takes for it to, uh, to charge. I got, I kind of wish the instructions were a little bit more descriptive. I think. I mean, you know how to work the power button, I guess, to select it. Um, long press to uh, get it in the settings mode, and then you have all the options on the left that blink. And if you want to change the DC option, hold down the power button again for a few bu few uh, seconds, and then it it sends you over to the settings. And then you can adjust it from there. And then long press to go back to the main menu. So I guess it's not too hard to figure out at least. Well, I think this pouch was something extra too because I don't think I requested this. It doesn't even seem that nice of one. It's not like silky or anything. It's pretty, it's like a burlap cloth, but whatever. <laughs> it's, it's something to protect it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But I probably won't even bother. I don't know. I'll just throw it in my backpack. So for yeah, for traveling, here it is. I just it'll fit, I guess, just like normal. We'll see what what the wow. reactions are when I whip it out on the plane. Start plugging things in. <laughs> you, you should start pranking people. Just whip it out. Just yeah. Hey. Okay, so the percentage went up to eight now, and now it's yeah, seven it's seven twenty one. So it took a minute. So maybe it's about one percent per minute. I'm gonna plug in the iPhone again while I got it charging. And um, it does not charge the iPhone while I'm charging the device. So that's something good to know. Can't charge the power bank while you're charging a phone. If I unplug the power bank, uh, then it doesn't automatically switch over. Maybe you have to plug it back in again. Yep. Plug it power bank back in. Yeah, so once I plug the power bank in, back in, it immediately stopped charging the iPhone. So you can't charge a device if you're charging the power bank. Any questions, Brian? No, that's it, man. That was badass. Yeah.